The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus instructed the twelve as follows. Remember, I am sending you out like sheep among wolves, so be cunning as serpents and yet harmless as doves. Beware of men, they will hand you over to Sanhedrins and scourge you in their synagogues. You will be dragged before governors and kings for my sake, to bear witness before them and the pagans. But when they hand you over, do not worry about how to speak or what to say. What you are to say will be given you when the time comes. Because it is not you who will be speaking, the spirit of your father will be speaking in you. Brother will betray brother to death and the father his child. Children will rise against their parents and have them put to death. You will be hated by all men on account of my name. But a man who stands firm to the end will be saved. If they persecute you in one town, take refuge in the next. And if they persecute you in that, take refuge in another. I tell you solemnly, you will not have gone the round of the towns of Israel before the Son of Man comes. The Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We have just heard how Jesus, in commissioning his 12 apostles to bring the good news of salvation to the chosen people of Israel, cautions them and says, I'm sending you like sheep among wolves. So be cunning, be as cunning as serpents and as harmless as doves. Jesus also adds that our, there will be great division and conflicts within the family and many will hate you on account of my name. These ex experiences of being a Christian in the early church to face much trials and persecutions is common. And many Christian converts face the great dilemma of choosing their new faith or choosing their family. There will be great conflict and betrayal in relationships too. Even in our present time of living the faith, even as there's no persecution, so to speak, in our country like Singapore, there are other challenges of living our faith in the secular world. There's much evil and distortion about the faith, enemies against the church, the different people who cause us much pain and trials in our lives, oppressors like our bosses or people, even in, their, in our homes, having great authority and uh, try to dominate and control our life, inflict injustice upon our lives, and finding ourselves in different situations where we are totally helpless, when the faith is not lived, when people live their lives against God. The words of Jesus in today's gospel are words of great wisdom. As a human person, it is impossible, impossible for us to address and solve the great complexities of life and the relationships and problems that we have to face. We find ourselves as limited human beings, helpless, weak, and often when the pain continues, even hopeless. Jesus says, have courage, stand firm, bear witness to the faith. What you say and have to say, the Holy Spirit will give you the words. The Holy Spirit will give you the light to know and speak the truth with wisdom. Holy Spirit will, will be there for you. And so in our lives, as we know, even as we try to want to live our faith, we discover the weakness in our own lives and the weakness as a human person to address the many concerns and challenges of our life. Jesus is urging us to trust him more, to build our lives on him 
So what we can do, instead of trying to solve problems and rely on our own intellectual abilities and capacities, we need to trust and build our lives and relationship on Jesus. Several times each day, we can become conscious of Jesus in our hearts and say to him, Lord, how can I love you more? How can I let you love me more? And then at the end of the day, we re can review the day. For the times we are able to love Jesus more and let him love us, thank the Lord. For the times you are not able to ask Jesus for forgiveness. When we do this, we will never feel alone. God is with us. The Spirit will enlighten us when we are more connected with Jesus. Things will become more peaceful because we know God is at the center of the challenges and the trials of our lives. When this happens, then we know that the divine wisdom of Jesus and his mercy is taking charge of our lives. We can only do our very best as human beings who are sinful, but God will prevail. Victory will prevail because God is almighty and supreme. He wills the goodness and peace of everyone in the world. And so, trust the Lord, be sincere, try our very best, and know that it is in faith that all will reign supreme in the risen Christ.